Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. U.S. stocks jumped on Tuesday after fresh U.S. inflation data was about in line with expectations, clearing the way for investors to resume buying high-flying tech names such as NVIDIA and Meta platforms. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 235.83 points, or 0.61%. The S&P 500 ticked up 1.12%, surpassing the previous record high close from March 7. The Nasdaq comes in advance 1.54%. Shares of chipmaker NVIDIA climbed more than 7%, Microsoft gained 2.6% and Meta popped 3.3%. Oracle surged more than 11% after beating Wall Street's earnings estimates. The consumer price index climbed 0.4% in February and 3.2% year over year, the Bureau of Labor Statistics said on Tuesday. Economists polled by Dow Jones expected a 0.4% increase last month and a 3.1% year over year respectively. Core inflation, which strips out food and energy from the headline reading, climbed 0.4% in February, compared to a forecast gain of 0.3%. Investors now turn their attention to the Producer Price Index report due this week and the Fed's next monetary policy meeting later this month. In broader market news, the small cap names bucked Tuesday's uptrend in the market. The small cap focused Russell 2000 slid 0.2% in Tuesday's session. That aligns with a broader trend of underperformance among smaller stocks. The Russell 2000 is up less than 2% in 2024, while the S&P 500 has climbed more than 8%. The price of gold has surged by 7% in just over a week, reaching record highs of nearly $2,195 per troy ounce, attributed by some analysts to increasing expectations of US interest rate cuts. Despite gold-backed exchange-traded funds experiencing outflows of 21 million ounces over the past year, the nominal high persists. Whereas Bitcoin has surpassed $72,000 on Monday, buoyed by billions of dollars flowing into ETFs since their US launch two months ago. In a sign of higher investor activity, the number of outstanding gold future contracts on Com- Comex has jumped 30% since February 28, while net long positions rose about 64,000 to 208,000 contracts last Tuesday, according to Commodity Futures Trading Commission data. The current price of lithium carbon in China has surged to its peak since December after experiencing a staggering drop of over 80% in 2023. This drastic decline has prompted several producers to scale back their output. Core Lithium notably halted some of its mining activities to trim cash expenses, attributing to it to its substan- substantial price downturn. According to UBS, the lithium market is undergoing a rebalancing phase as the industry adjusts production and pro- project plans. Turning to U.S. sectors, tech was the best performer, closing higher by more than 2.5%. Utilities was the worst performer. Today's local data includes the release of CBA Household Spending Insights report alongside the monthly business turnover indicator. Additionally, in Sydney, Ellis Connolly, the Reserve Bank's head of payments policy, is scheduled to speak. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.2% rise. Thank you for listening.